I love every every second I get to spend in my woodshop. Charlie Hamilton can get lost walking into his own backyard. I'll be in here from the the very beginning of the morning to the time it gets dark and when I come in for dinner. The 17-year-old from Henrico loses himself in a small forest of fallen trees. I normally come out of my trance as soon as my mom kind of comes in and, and tells me dinner's ready. The woodworker is using quarantine to carve and carve some more. I think getting out using your hands can be can be awesome. An ancient trade passed down through generations of Hamiltons, this is not. I've just kind of grown with that and, and watched a lot, of, a lot of YouTube to learn all the skills. Yes, when other boys were playing video games. What is up guys, welcome back to Young Woodworker. My name is Charlie Hamilton. Charlie was learning to whittle at 12. My friends like to make a couple of jokes. They think like, oh, like old man Charlie, like going to make his little wood, wooden bowls in his wood shop. His hobby is nothing to laugh at. Charlie's functional artwork sells in galleries and online between $50 and $250. It's such a fun process to go from kind of like a, a log like one of these to a finished bowl. I, I just fell in love with it from the very beginning. But the craftsman's bowls are serving a greater purpose during the pandemic. It's an extremely fulfilling feeling, I would say. The junior at Mills Godwin is pouring his profits, every penny, into Feeding America, one of the country's largest food banks. I just saw it as a great opportunity to, to kind of give back. A single dollar generates 10 meals for people in need. Just seeing the, the bright side of this kind of situation is it's what my goal has been throughout this whole process. It's a breath of fresh air to see someone who's willing to sacrifice this much time to do something they love. Lifelong friend Charlie Eunice helps with marketing and shipping the finished products. So just thinking about the vast number of meals that we're able to provide for people who need it, it's just a really rewarding experience. Since launching the Serving Bowls project a few weeks ago, the friends have raised nearly five grand. Their goal 15,000. I'll always remember this kind of, this process and the work that we're doing. Charlie Hamilton, an artist who may get lost in his own backyard. I would like to, to do it as, as long as I can. But he's found a way to leave hunger in the sawdust. It's all rewarding in the end when I get to kind of wipe the finish on the bowl and to see it really shine is, is great. Charlie's Serving Bowls project is expanding. He'll start carving serving boards for your kitchen. If you'd like to purchase one of his items, I put the link on our show website at WTVR.com. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.